The Brazilian election was seen as a referendum of 12 years of Workers' Party rule. Dilma Rousseff, along with her predecessor Luiz Ignacio Lula da Silva, emerged victorious to get four more years in power. Dilma's victory is for a Brazil that takes the workers into account. It's not just looking to the rich. The country has improved a lot over the past 12 years, and the people didn't want that improvement to stop. A yes then to the party's left-wing policies, but not an overwhelming one. The economy is in bad shape. When Rousseff was first elected in 2010, growth was at 7.5 percent. The country is now in recession and faces a credit rating downgrade next year. We will give more momentum to economic activity in all sectors, especially industry. Markets are waiting for one of her first announcements, the possible replacement of her heavily criticized finance minister. Their once signed she will be steering a less state-led interventionist course. Second-term challenges include restoring order to public finances, meeting demands for improved public services and combating corruption. Her party from 2002 onwards has lifted 40 million Brazilians out of poverty. However, with this close race, Brazil is more divided than ever along class lines. There have been protests this year and last about her economic choices. Much of the next four years will be about her attempts to restore the confidence of Brazilians.